My name is Vicky and I'm 18 years of age. I go to Northcote College and I'm here to find out today about surveying. There's lots of opportunities and a variety of jobs involving surveying. Modern surveying is a wide-ranging profession. It employs a huge variety of technology to gather, process and interpret information that is vital to today's and tomorrow's world. I believe the traditional view of a surveyor was a man who sat, stood on the side of a road with a theodolite, either uh, picking up bits of survey detail or being in survey peaks. But more often these days surveyors are becoming involved in the Resource Management Act, in the construction industry, in the civil engineering industry, uh, hydrographic surveying, which is measurement of the sea floor, also uh, the uh, creation of titles, unit titles, legal ownership of land, so the surveyors can be involved in that part of the land development profession as well. Hi, I'm Vicky. Hi, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Put this on, keep you nice and warm and seen. Actually, Vicky, while we're here, it's a good opportunity to point out a very significant part of survey history in Auckland, and that's Mount Eden. Okay, right there in 1841 was when the earliest surveyors made their first marks in Auckland. The surveyors created a triangle from Mount Eden to Cox's Bay to Hobson Bay, which enclosed the first parcel of land that was auctioned off to early settlers and became downtown Auckland, what was once then the capital of New Zealand. Also, Vicky, from here you can see Stonefields, a project our company's involved with. We'll head down there and have a look and see what the surveyors are doing. Perhaps the most visible role of the surveyor is cadastral surveying. That's the process of determining and defining land boundaries. So what is this equipment used for? Vicky, this is the GPS base station that's used in conjunction with our roving GPS unit and it provides three-dimensional data to us in position and in height and uses 12 satellites at any one time to give us that information. And how accurate is this piece of equipment? Well, the GPS we're using now gets to about two to three centimetres, which is pretty good. So those wooden pegs, they define the corners of a property. Okay, so the guys will have a peg here, It'll, the back corner and the four corners generally will be pegged which is required by the Crown to define properties and define where people actually live. The accuracy of GPS allows it to be used for a variety of tasks, such as calculating the volume of water that a pond can contain should a flood occur. Well, what we're doing here, Vicky, is we're going to use the GPS to carry out a topographical survey of the stormwater pond. And what we do, we're using the GPS receiver. When we get to a point, we push F1 to record the point that records the X, Y and Z, which is the three dimensions and we, that all goes into our computer system back in the office and we, we can calculate volumes. Well, as a young man, uh, the sense of adventure, being outdoors, uh, appealed and surveying was a profession that you could get into but have an outdoor component and uh, certainly as a young man I enjoyed that part of the job, it was tremendous. Right, Vicky, if we just come over here, we've... Um, Gathering information is only the first part of the job. It then has to be translated and illustrated in a user-friendly form. We'll just put that in there. And then we can download that data. All right, Vicky, so what we've got here is the download of the pond that we saw that earlier. What we can do in 12D is go to a 3D image. We can rotate the 3D image left and right and up and down. So we can get different perspectives of the shape of the pond that has been built. Mike Bates has recently qualified and is about to become a registered professional surveyor. Mike, what do you enjoy most about surveying? Um, I, I, I prefer the um, inside-outside mix. There's, there's a lot of variety in surveying, so one day I'm in the office, the next day I'm outside, and every day you're outside you get something different. You, you never know what to expect, really. Surveyors work on some of our country's largest projects, such as the new motorway extension north of Auckland. Well, Vicky, this is Bruce Robinson. Bruce is here to illustrate his uh, device, the laser scanner. It's a device that enables us to, to measure distances that we can't reach normally. So, way up underneath the viaduct there, we've got some issue with the stormwater drainage. And with Bruce's scanner, we'll be able to accurately locate that drainage feature and bring that back to the office and do some upgrade design work. Next we're off to the new motorway tunnels. Bruce is going to scan it so he can make sure that what was built accurately reflects the original design, right down to the smallest detail. So what kind of information do you gather here? Well what we're doing here Vicky is the scanner is being used to as built the features that have been constructed in the roof of the ceiling of the tunnel. 
the purpose of that is similar to the viaduct is that we're looking at a 3D electronic image but in this instance we're checking uh, actual as built versus design and also just to check uh, compliance with the various requirements of the design so the as built function of the scanner lets us again take a 3D picture of what's been built into the ceiling we can bring that back into the office check against design check that everything's built as per specification and so it's used for that purpose so it's an ideal tool for again picking up all this information in one suite. The professional opinion of a server is highly regarded. They may even be called upon as an expert witness in court. So here in the older parts of Auckland, Vicky, surveyors get involved in a lot of issues with boundary definition. So a surveyor will be called in to carry out a determination of the exact location of that boundary. Also, if they're looking to redevelop their property, they need to know the exact size and location so they can comply with council standards. So in the city we're involved in a lot with council decisions as well as legal decisions. Well first of all I didn't know anything about surveying so I learned lots of stuff. For example um, there's lots of type of surveying out there, there's lots of job opportunities out there, not just for men but for girls too. Oh Vicky was great, she was enthusiastic, she asked all the right questions. She was switched on, thinking about what we were doing, so she was very good. There are a number of qualifications available in surveying and many ways to enter this exciting career. You can join a surveying firm as a surveying assistant straight from school, then upskill and gain qualifications while working. On successful completion, you can progress to a national diploma or even gain a Bachelor of Surveying degree. New Zealand offers qualifications that are highly regarded internationally. Contact your local surveying firm for more information about these exciting careers or contact InfraTrain, the industry training organisation for New Zealand's infrastructure. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.